Hello all, welcome to this video in which we are going to discuss the Bhuta Sankhya system and Katapayadi number system as the ancient mathematical schemes. The Bhuta Sankhya and Katapayadi number systems are ancient number systems originating from India. They were primarily used in ancient texts, mathematics and even in the context of Sanskrit prosody or the rhythmic patterns. Both the systems demonstrate the ingenuity of ancient Indian mathematicians, their ability to develop sophisticated numerical notations and calculations with limited resources was magnificent. The Bhuta Sankhya system is older than Katapayadi number system. Before the advent of Katapayadi number system, the Bhuta Sankhya system was popular. The origin of Bhuta Sankhya system is associated with the Vedic times, while that of the Katapayadi number system is 5th century common era. The Bhuta Sankhya system is believed to have originated from the Vedas. It was primarily used in Vedic mathematics and rituals. While the Katapayadi number system finds its roots in the Kerala school of mathematics, it is often associated with Kerala and South Indian mathematical traditions. The alphabetic representation of Bhuta Sankhya system was having each digit from 1 to 9 represented by a specific Sanskrit noun. While the Katapayadi number system, digits are represented using consonants from the Malayalam alphabets. From the point of view of use in the literature, Bhuta Sankhya is commonly used in ancient Vedic texts for various mathematical calculations and ritualistic purposes. While the Katapayadi is found in various texts, especially in Kerala, for numerical representation and calculations. Considering usage in poetry as a distinguishing feature, Bhuta Sankhya system has applications in Chanda Shastra, that is Sanskrit versification, where it is used to determine the meter and rhythm of Sanskrit poetry, while the Katapayadi number system is similarly used in Chanda Shastras for the same purpose, especially in Malayalam language. The encoding system of Bhuta Sankhya was interesting. This system assigns numerical value to common Sanskrit nouns. For example, there is one moon, so Chandra corresponds to one, while Netra corresponds to number two. There are four Vedas, therefore Veda is corresponding to number four. Movement of sun is through 12 zodiac signs and therefore 12 was assigned for sun. On the other hand, Katapayadi number system assigns specific consonants to digits but utilizes the Malayalam alphabet for representation. While Bhuta Sankhya system is historically significant, it is not widely used in the contemporary mathematics or daily life. It is primarily of interest to scholars of ancient Indian mathematics and culture. While on the other hand, Katapayadi, though not mainstream, still finds some usage in traditional contexts especially in Kerala and it is also sometimes taught in educational settings to preserve the cultural heritage. In the case of representation, Katapayadi number system maps individual letters to the Sanskrit alphabet to numerical values, while Bhuta Sankhya system maps specific words or nouns to the numerical values. Katapayadi number system is used to create numerical codes for words or phrases by assigning values to the letters and it is often used for encryption or memorization. On the other hand, the Bhuta Sankhya system was used to write numbers as meaningful words or phrases and it was often used in literary works or inscriptions. The flexibility of Katapayadi number system can be understood as one letter was representing multiple numbers offering some flexibility in encoding. In case of Bhuta Sankhya number system, one word corresponds to a specific number but with many alternative words for each number. This offers significant flexibility in composing phrases. The Katapayadi number system was useful for memorizing sequences of numbers by associating them with the words or phrases. The Bhuta Sankhya system was helpful for remembering large numbers by using familiar words in meaningful sentences. The Katapayadi number system is used in astrology, astronomy, alchemy and music. While Bhuta Sankhya system finds its application in the inscriptions, literary works and religious texts. So let us understand these two number systems with a few examples. 
the first example of bhuta sankhya system is the phrase khakashti yamaha corresponds to a number 21600 while the other phrase surya shvaha corresponds to a number 712 now the examples of katapayadi number system the phrase sarvadhanyam hi ushnam kim this phrase corresponds to a number 15081947 which can be related to the independence day of india 15th august 1947 the next phrase is mruganam tu ramaha parvakale this corresponds to a number 3141526535 which corresponds to the value of pi up to nine digit accuracy so next time when you are attempting a question that compare the bhuta sankhya system with katapayadi number system or The question asked in the examination is distinguish the bhuta sankhya system from katapayadi number system we must remember if the considered parameter is historical origin the bhuta sankhya system originates from the vedas and reflects ancient indian philosophical and ritualistic traditions while the katapayadi number system is developed within the kerala school of mathematics and it showcases the intellectual environment prevalent in medieval south india from the point of view of geographical influence the bhuta sankhya system is found in ancient texts across various regions reflecting widespread usage in the indian subcontinent the katapayadi number system is primarily associated with south india deeply ingrained in the mathematical and cultural traditions of this region the bhuta sankhya system is used in vedic rituals and sanskrit prosody that is chanda shastras for metrical analysis of poetry and it was also used in various mathematical calculations the katapayadi number system was employed in sanskrit and malayalam poetry for metrical purposes it was also used as a numerical notation system for mathematical calculations the encoding system of bhuta sankhya can be understood as a each digit is represented by a sanskrit noun aiding memorization and calculation while the katapayadi number system assigns specific consonants from the malayalam alphabet to digits facilitating numerical representation and calculation in malayalam the historical significance studied by the scholars interested in ancient indian mathematics and culture but now it is not widely used in the contemporary texts the katapayadi number system is preserved as a part of kerala's cultural and mathematical heritage although it is not available in mainstream but still it is studied to appreciate kerala's mathematical achievements Thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more such content